What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we are gonna be taking a look at the Google Data Analytics Certificate. So if you didn't know, Google is coming out with a data analytics certificate and that is gonna be hosted on Coursera. We don't know the exact day that it's gonna be released, but we know that it's gonna be coming out within about the next two or three weeks. The cost is gonna be $40 per month. Based on other certificates that Google has on Coursera, it's probably gonna take around four to six months to complete, but it is completely self-paced. And so I believe you can do that a lot faster. They recommend doing about 10 hours per week. So if you do 40 hours per week, you can probably finish this up in a little over a month. Now, understandably so, there's quite a bit of hype around this certificate, primarily because it's Google. And Google has a way of coming in and creating a certificate program and it becoming a lot more popular. The reason being that Google says if you complete this certificate program, in their eyes, it is the equivalent of a four-year degree in this area. So Google is saying that if you complete this certificate and you apply for a job at Google, they're gonna treat it as a four-year degree. And that kind of sets the precedent for other companies as well, because if Google is treating it as a four-year degree, don't you think other companies will also take that into consideration? And so if you are somebody who either didn't go to college or you're trying to switch careers, this could be a really good program for you because you're getting the brand recognition of Google as well as learning a lot of really good skills, which we're about to look at in just a second. So let's go over to my screen and take a look at everything that we know about the Google Data Analytics Certificate. All right, so we are looking at the Google Data Analytics Certificate, and as you can see, it's gonna be on Coursera. It says coming soon, but we know it's gonna be within the next few weeks that it's gonna be released. I'm gonna to try to hit the big highlights for you so that you don't have to read this entire page, although I will leave a link in the description to this page so that you can read this yourself. So starting at the top, there are no prerequisites, it's gonna be 100% on your computer at your own pace. They recommend about 10 hours per week, but I personally would be doing more than that so that it doesn't take longer and therefore I have to pay more because you're paying per month. Um, but let's scroll down really quick and what they say right here, well, let's read this. It says, get a job in data analytics with the help from Google. So let's take a look at the average salary. They have around 68,000 and as of right now, they're saying that there are 337,000 job openings at the moment. I only have about 30,000 subscribers as of right now, which means there are plenty of jobs for everybody, uh, genuinely. It looks like based off what Google is telling us. Let's go down a little bit further. Um, I'm gonna skip a little bit of this. What jobs are in demand in data analytics that this course or this certificate is going to help you get? So they have junior data analyst, Associate Data Analyst, Junior Data Scientist, Finance Analyst, Operations Analyst, Data Technician, Business Performance Analyst, Marketing Analyst, Business Intelligence Analyst, and Healthcare Analyst. Now that's just a lot of analytics and then one uh, junior data scientist position. But there are a lot of jobs out there, a lot of different positions, and they are saying that with this, uh, with this course, with this certificate, that these type of positions are gonna be more open to you. Um, I don't think this guarantees a job in any way, but we will be looking at something in a little bit that talks about getting a job. Um, so that'll be really interesting to look at. Let's go down a little further. Uh, what's gonna be in this course? So they tell you a little bit about what you're gonna learn, but let's go down to the actual full curriculum. Um, so really quick, I'm gonna go through the curriculum. The first one is foundations, data, data everywhere, asking questions to make data-driven decisions, prepare data for exploration, process data from dirty to clean, analyze data to answer questions, share data through the art of visualization, data analysis with our programming, and then a data analytics capstone project, complete a case study. If you notice right away, like I did when I was reading this, it doesn't look like they're gonna be using Python in this course, it looks like they're gonna be using R. Hey, I have nothing against R at all. Uh, I personally prefer Python, but R is a very good language to learn. So nothing against them using it. I'm just extremely sad that they're not using Python because I'm a huge believer in Python. Now, if we scroll down a little bit further, they will mention a few other skills that you're gonna be learning in this course. Uh, SQL, Tableau, R, and more. We don't know what the more means, but SQL, Tableau, and R is a great combination. So I have no worries that this is gonna be a good course. Now, when we're scrolling down, this next part isn't super interesting, except for this very last piece that says, get your foot in the door with top employers through the Google Hiring Consortium. Uh, I don't know exactly what that means. I've never taken a Google certificate through Coursera. There is a little bit more information that I was mentioning earlier that is gonna be uh, in the FAQs at the end, and so I'm gonna read that. Um, but let's go down really quick. Um, here are some of the top employers that you might get connected with. Again, I'm. I'm gonna read that in just a second. But places like Target, 
T-Mobile, Bayer, Coursera, some large companies uh, that they're going to have, I guess, connections with, Deloitte, some large companies that they're going to have some type of connection with. Um, I don't think they're promising you a job by any means, but maybe they'll get you a connection or get you an interview. I don't know. But if they were to kind of set you up with a job at the end of this or set you up with an interview or something like that, that could be a really big perk of doing the certificate. Let's keep going. Um, there's frequently asked questions. I, I read through all of these and I'm not going to lie. Most of them you don't need to read. Um, but I'm going to look for one specifically, um, and that's this one right here. It says, why enroll in the Google Data Analytics Certificate? At the very bottom, again, you don't need to read all the other stuff. It says, after you've graduated from the program, you'll have access to career resources and be connected directly with employers hiring for open entry-level roles in data analytics. I genuinely don't know how they're going to go about directly connecting you with employers, but if you were looking for a job, that definitely could be a big perk of doing this certificate. Now, one thing I want to show you is, you know, kind of the popularity that these Google certificates has. This is Google's most popular certificate. Um, this is their Google IT Support Professional Certificate. About 500,000 people have been enrolled in it, and they have about 10 other certificate programs that they have as well. And those usually have around 20 to like 100,000 people. And so on the low end, about 20,000 people are taking this. I think the certificate will be fairly popular. I don't think it's going to be half as popular as the IT one. But by the end of this year, my best guess is that around 20,000 people will have taken the certificate and completed it and who are using those career services. And so I personally am super excited about the certificate. In future videos, I'm going to be partnering with Coursera to actually bring you some reviews and some walkthroughs of this course that you can see exactly what you're getting if you decide to purchase this. Again, it kills me that they are not using Python, but I will struggle through the R and show you what that looks like for you. If you want to look at the exact website that I'm looking at, I'll leave a link in the description. Be on the lookout for future videos where I do my reviews. I'll be getting a lot more in depth, especially when the certificate actually drops and then I can walk through it and start taking it and give you a lot more in depth feedback. But this is again, just a broad overview of everything that we can be expecting and kind of looking forward to in the very near future. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, be sure to like and subscribe below and I'll see you in the next video.